Hello everyone, I'm Evelyn. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So I'm finally back. I took basically a week off to get over the flu and well, I started building this Sunday, finished it yesterday and now got it ready for you guys today. But yeah, I just had to take some time off to get well again because I was not feeling great for a couple of days or more than a couple. I was not feeling great for like five days straight and then for like two days, I was just trying to stay awake because my body was so done. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm back. Finally, we're back to building. We are today building the headmaster's new house, which is built on the 30 by 30, I think, in Copperdale. And it's in the western part, the western? <laughs> the left part of the map of Copperdale. So it's where the city is. It's not the same area that I've been building in so far. I've actually not touched this area yet. It's the first house that I'm doing in it. So um, I just felt like doing something completely different from the house that they originally had. So I tore it down and decided to go for some contemporary vibes instead. We out of my comfort zone. I've not built anything contemporary for the longest time, but I do like how it turned out and I had a lot of fun with the house. I was also trying to make sure that I was following their different likes and stuff, so the colors that they like, just so it would fit with the household as well. I feel like that is fitting. <laughs> so um, yeah, color choices were definitely done according to the different sims that are in the original household. When I do finish the save file, the household is also going to stay in this house, so I'm not going to make a new household for it. That's what I've decided to do for this new Copperdale, this new world. So I hope you guys are okay with that. I have swapped out families in all the other, all the other worlds before, but I'm really hoping I can, because I keep talking about the save file and then we keep getting new packs and that gets in the way and then I get sick and then I got technical issues and so on and so on. I just want to be able to actually finish a save file finally so I can have it ready for you guys because the last one I did was like in 2019 or something. It's it's a while ago. So I'm working on this now. We're sticking to it. <laughs> I'm still missing one house in Moonwood Mill, but I'll get to it. I promise. I have some ideas for it finally. I just need to not get sick or uh, have any other issues or whatever. It's going to be fine. It's going to be great. We are on a roll now, so I hope you guys are ready for it. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a bit weird coming back, to be honest, because I didn't... I've kind of stayed off of Twitter, for example, and then I come back and there's a literal dumpster fire going on, and I'm sure that some of the people that are keeping an eye on me on Twitter right now are also keeping an eye on me through this video. Hi, if you are, but also, like, why? But um, there's just, it's it's been a bit much, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie. It's been a bit weird. I just, all I want to say to that is, if you did not know, which I've been sure that you guys do know, all my builds are available for free on the gallery. They've always been. I always upload them there. If not, at the same time as the video goes live, then right before, unless I'm not home, then I mean, you might have to wait until I'm home. The uh, builds, by the way, I have not posted them over on the community tab by uh, yet, but the builds that I did with Early Access are currently up on the gallery too. I promised that I was going to update you guys. I've just been sick, so I haven't been able to do it over on the community tab yet. I'm kind of playing catch up a little bit right now, so just building, making sure I got builds ready for this upcoming week because I'm going to Copenhagen. Um, but they're always available on the gallery for free, just, just so you, just so you know. Yeah. I actually do have a question regarding the gallery because I often get comments on, is that a platform mistake I just made there? I might have to go back and fix that before uploading it or what, well, and then upload it again or something. There's a mistake happening right there. I don't know if you see it, but there's, uh, the second platform is a little bit too high, tall. Anyway. But I'm going to call that a an exhaustion mistake because I've just been sick and I've been incredible. It's, I've been having the hardest time keeping my eyes open after being sick. I don't know what's going on with that. Like, it's been a struggle. <laughs> but anyway, my question regarding the gallery is actually because I keep getting questions about old uploads. So, like, I'll get a comment on a video that's, like, three years old and they'll they'll ask me... 
why the the build is not on the gallery and I don't take any builds down ever they always stay on the gallery I never go through my gallery to take anything down I haven't ever done that I don't think at least as far as I remember so is there a bug with the gallery sometimes do older builds just disappear or is it just because said person is not going far enough back in my library to find the build that they're looking for. I don't really know. Is that a thing? Let me know because I don't really use the gallery myself. I mostly just build and upload to it. So I don't ever download anything from it and definitely do not go back like years in other people's libraries. So if that's a glitch, I'd love to know. But I do also want to make sure that you guys know that I always link to the website gallery in my description boxes as well. So if you're having any issues with anything or if you are looking at videos from like three years ago and you can't find the build, you can always click on the link to the website gallery, which is always in the description box. So I just wanna, wanted to let you guys know that. Not that it really helps saying that on this video, but because <laughs> like, I, why would you specifically come to this video if you've been asking about a build that's like three years old? You know, it's it's fine. Didn't think that one through, but like genuine question though, is that a glitch on the gallery? Because I, I would love to know. So as for this house, it is, or the back of the house is inspired by, I feel like I can't probably talk, is inspired by a picture that I found on Pinterest, but the front of the house, which looks a bit like a mess. <laughs> I had some fun with it, but I'm definitely out of my comfort zone for this one. Um, but the front of the house is completely made up and had some fun with it, of course. It was uh, it was nice trying out some different things. It's been a while since I've done something contemporary. You can definitely have a lot of fun experimenting with shapes and like just like uh, window placement and stuff and different wallpaper combinations when it comes to contemporary houses. I did the floor plan off cam because it was a big mess. Because I've put so many random boxes together, it becomes a little bit difficult to do a floor plan that has a nice flow to it, just because there's so many corners. Corners are good when you're doing floor plans, but too many corners makes it confusing to do a floor plan. So also because there has to be a certain kind of flow for your sims to walk effortlessly throughout the house, if that makes sense. And it was really difficult to keep that flow for this house. Sorry, I just notched my table if you heard that. Um, I talk with my hands when I do voiceovers. So sometimes I'll suddenly start punching the microphone. Sometimes it happens to the table. I apologize. <laughs> but the color scheme, like vibe wise, it's pretty chill in here, I want to say. Um, also, that doesn't say anything. <laughs> It really doesn't explain anything. It's just very relaxing and like laid back and not too pompous. If, is that how you pronounce that word? I'm not really sure. But it's not like over the top or like the, the furniture I went with was pretty chill. Am I making sense? Okay, good. Great. Awesome. And then as for the color scheme, I noticed that, oh gosh, I should have written them down before doing the voiceover. But what I do remember, and I remember making a point to myself that I had to mention this to you before we get to the headmaster's bedroom, is that she loves red, which I don't, but she does. So I used a lot of red in her bedroom and I kind of cringed doing so. If you love red, good on you, pull it off, you know. Go love the colors that you love, but I don't love red. <laughs> so I was having a little bit of a fun time with it. However, try to make sure that everything still looked good, of course. I wasn't just making jokes out of it and everything. I wouldn't do that. Um, but, or maybe I would, but not in this situation, I wouldn't. <laughs> also, just want to mention, like, my mom's favorite color is red, which is why I personally think that I have a hard time with the color, because... Her whole kitchen is red, so it's like, it's like I've gotten an overdose of red, okay? I just need to not have any red in my life. That's just, I feel like that's what it is, basically. But I was trying to add some, oh, right, she loves brown as well as the color. So I was trying to add some brown and also red. For example, a little bit of brown here in the living room area, but also some brown and red in the dining area, dining room area, because I think this is actually the headmaster's house. She lives here with 
her dad, I think it is. I think it's her dad, but it might also be her deceased spouse's dad. I'm not really sure what the dynamic is there, but there's a granddad living in the house, question mark. And then the, uh, the two children. So one is a teen, the other one is a child. I made their bedrooms according to their likes as well when it comes to colors. I tried to incorporate some of their hobbies as well. Although I will say that um, I was having some issues trying to figure out because the, the granddad really loves woodworking and this house is not a woodworking kind of house, but there's a woodworking table outside. So I managed to fit it in, it's just outside. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, granddad. It's funny now that I think about it. I don't actually know if the spouse that's no longer with her, if if they're dead, if they're deceased, or if they're just not there. Like, I don't know. I maybe should have looked into that before. I did not look into relationships. That, like, it did not cross my mind at all. I was just like, I'm going to look at their hobbies and their colors no clue about their relationships, none whatsoever. Um, that's a thing, so whoopsie. I did a dumb dumb. I hope you will forgive me though for it. But yeah, I should have probably looked a little bit into it, but I just didn't. So I will admit that this kitchen is definitely the messiest part of the house, but it's kind of in this like middle room between the uh, the dining area and then the living room area and for some reason, it was really hard to find a place to place down the kitchen in this house simply because there's use of a lot of windows and I didn't want to place it where the dining room is right now simply because there was not enough uh, wall space for all the counters. So the kitchen is definitely the funkiest part of the house. Let's use that word, funkiest. But it's where I felt like it would fit the best. Also because I didn't want to place the living room in between the dining room and the kitchen. That doesn't feel right. So you have to walk through the living room to get to the dining area. That doesn't feel like that doesn't make sense to me. So I just I had to make some compromises, but it's definitely a bit on the funny side. I'm totally repressing a cough right now or suppressing a cough right now. I'm not repressing. And they said doing voiceovers was easy. Yeah, they should try it when you have a cough. Anyway, everything is good. <laughs> so I'm just laughing about it at this point. I've gotten to the point now where I can just laugh about being a little bit sick. It's all good. Everything's fine. Laugh along with me if you want to. Um, but yeah, we are working on the mom's, so the headmaster's bedroom. It feels so weird, like, in a family setting, calling her the headmaster. I would hate that if... So my dad used to be a teacher. He's retired. But I would, I would hate it if in all family setting, he's just like, the teacher. Like, I would hate that. It's so awkward. But... Um, she is the headmaster of the school. It's actually funny because I went into her job, her career uh, tab or whatever it's called when you are in gameplay life mode. Um, and she's she's not, she's she doesn't have a job. She's unemployed. So I don't really know. You could technically give her some kind of career, I suppose. Like canonically, she is the headmaster, but... When it comes to her career, she doesn't actually have one. It's kind of interesting, don't you think? So I might look into that for the save file if I truly decide on sticking with this family for it. Although I think that is pretty much going to end up being my decision. So I would love to hear you guys' input on that, by the way. Because so far I haven't had any plans to swap out any of the families in Copperdale. So let me know if you if you insist on them being gone. Although I kind of like them, they're cute. I kind of want to keep them, you know? Although what I might do is go through them and give them pets because other than, I forgot what that, Brindleton Bay? Yes, wow, that completely blanked for a second. Anyway, other than some of the families in Brindleton Bay, the families don't have pets for obvious reasons because it, they, they come from a different pack. So I've gone through other families and given them pets so that at least we could kind of do some cross pack stuff for the file. Um, but I haven't done that with this area yet. I haven't done it with the werewolves yet either. So I might also do that with them. 
But uh, yeah, I think that's something I might do, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep the families other than that. So we're working on the teen daughter's bedroom right now, and I was just having fun with this one. They like the colors blue and pink, and what else was it? Green, I think. I think this bed pretty much sums up their favorite colors. Pretty much, although there's a little bit extra on this bed because I'm pretty sure yellow was not one of the colors, but I know blue and pink and green were. I just feel like there was a fourth one that unfortunately I don't remember. And then they don't like black. They also don't like black. I remember that being a thing, which I was basically like, that's blasphemous, but okay. <laughs> Can we also just appreciate this bed swatch, by the way? Like, it's so cute. Definitely giving me summer vibes, even though I'm not, I'm not a very summery person. I adore this bed sheet. Like, would definitely use it for at least three days until I'm probably going tired of it and have to swap back to my gray bed sheets because I'm just that basic. But I can, I can still, you know, appreciate it for a few days, you know? I feel like my computer right now is throwing a tantrum, so let's just choose to ignore her. Please behave, Pegasus. You're being super annoying. Just, just throwing it out there. Uh, but speaking of vacation and summer, if you guys have done anything, let a girl know because I have been stuck at home sick or working on stuff. So I would love to live through you guys. So let me know. <laughs> that sound is so depressing, but honestly, I just mean it in, in good fun. I am taking a couple of days off here in August. I'll, like, I don't want to have to say like, well, I took last week off because I was sick. That sucks. I don't want to spend my only week off being sick. So um, I'm probably going to do that also because my sister, my very pregnant sister, by the way, is coming to the city to hang out with me and my mom. So later this month, might be taking a couple of days off. I'll see if I can prepare some uploads for that time. But other than that, I've not really been doing much myself, so definitely let me know. I'd love to hear if you guys have been on vacation or if you've just been in your country or just, I don't know, somewhere else in your country than where you usually live. Or if you've experienced anything funny, let me know because I just, uh, like I said, even though it sounds quite depressing, I just mean it in good fun. Let me live through you. Like, I would love to hear you out. If you have any funny summer stories as well, let me know. So as for the kid, I don't really remember what their color preferences are other than I think they like blue and purple. That's it. That's all I remember, really. Maybe a little bit black. Maybe I just thought black looked good with blue and purple together. This is definitely one of the darker kind of kids rooms that I've done, but I felt like everything just kind of flowed together anyway. But also the kid is kind of funky with their red hair. So I just like with their very, very vibrant red hair. By the way, EA, where are the extra red hair tones? I'm just casually asking as a ginger. Would love to know. I don't know. It's not like it <laughs> affects me at all whatsoever. Um, sarcasm, it does. Because I would love to be able to actually add my own hair color to my sim self. That would be amazing. But yeah, I feel like the, the kid is a little bit funky with their very vibrant red hair, so they could pull off that bedroom, most definitely. But here at the end of the video, we are doing some landscaping. I think I add some more furniture to the back patio, so I think I ended up putting down a grill along with a bigger dining table with a whole eight chairs actually so they can have some friends over or some other family or something. There's about two lounge chairs. I was really debating whether or not I wanted to add a pool to but I decided against it just because I didn't really have much space left here at the back but also I've said this a lot of times while building these houses in Copperdale. I don't feel like the houses in Copperdale necessarily need big backyards. I think for some reason it just feels natural to not give them big backyards. So I decided for this house to not do that. They don't have one. They just have a back patio. But I do end up doing a little bit of landscaping at least. So as for the landscaping, keeping it pretty simple, just mainly using rocks and green plants, so not flowers that are colorful, anything like that, and also trees. And that's pretty much it, just keeping it very natural. 
So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much the, uh, the end of it. So, yeah, I hope you guys like this house. If you do, you can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT. And you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. And there's always a link to the website gallery as well in the description box, where you can also find a link to my Patreon, where you can find the trade files. Or I should say, where you can also find the trade files. But anyway... Uh, if you like books, check out my booktube channel. There's a link to that in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. And that is all I got for you guys today. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and all the good stuff if you did. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. Still got your lips and paper in the trash now. so sweet I never knew it would sting I never knew love like this would leave me in pieces oh Emma I can't believe it's already over